So uh, we're going to take a look at the reduction of an amide with lithium aluminum hydride. So the product of this is actually an amine. So net what's going to happen is we're going to add two hydrogens to this carbon. So it's very similar to the same reaction that happens with a carboxylic acid lithium aluminum hydride. Um, slightly different, slightly, maybe a slightly different mechanism, but the first thing that's going to happen is your lithium aluminum hydride, that's going to be your nucleophile. And so you're going to have an H minus, and that's going to react with the carbon of the carbonyl group. So addition. All right, so the goal, we always be, it's nice to know right away if you know this is going to go to this, because you are you know you need to add hydrogens here, right? You know you need to add hydrogens there. So that's part of the thing you're thinking about trying to do. So you add hydrogens there. So we have a tetrahedral intermediate, and we also have AlH3. Do we have any good leaving groups in the tetrahedral intermediate? No, not really. But what we did create was aluminum with three bonds. So what happens is actually this ox, this O minus, will bond to the aluminum. Right, because if you think about it, right, aluminum wants, right, aluminum doesn't have a full octet. So now there's a minus charge in the aluminum. Nitrogen is still here. So at this point, you can do a couple different things. Um, one of the options could be that now this became kind of a better leaving group, right? Aluminum oxide, aluminum oxygen bound aluminum becomes a better leaving group. We can bring these electrons down and kick this out. Now I'm not actually, you know what? I'll be honest, I'm not that thrilled with this. Let's not do that. Because I don't want to create a plus charge, right? And I don't want to create a bunch of other charges. So I'm not, I don't like that that much. What other options do we have? So, right, so instead of going down that really, really super charged pathway, let's take this H is going to take that hydrogen off of the nitrogen. So what's that going to give us? It's going to give us O, aluminum, H, H, We also made H2 gas there. Where's my negative charge at now? On the nitrogen. Now that feels a little better. Now let's have those electrons come down. Now we'll kick out that species. So now what do we have? From that point we have Now we have like this imine. And we have this O minus aluminum species. And you could use this or you can use another lithium aluminum hydride if you want to, but you could there's a mechanism here that you could say, okay, these electrons come down, and then that fires that H minus towards that carbon of the imine. Or you could do another one of these would react, another lithium aluminum hydride would react with this. But so what would the product of this be? Now you've successfully added the two hydrogens to that carbon of the original amide. That weird aluminum oxide kind of species. And at this point, right, there's nothing left to do. That's when the second step of all these, right, step two, usually is water or H+. Plus. That's going to protonate that, and that gets us to that final product amine.